Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double ones are to the elders, apostles of Great Moonstone, the elders on down salutation. So you can see Akim doing the work of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, in spirit and truth and sincerity, apostles for wings. Okay, you saw so only Rose, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Okay, scattered among all these different nations in these last days. The spirit is going to bear witness in these last days. Okay, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the Holy One. All right, the remnant, okay, those who are going to be found worthy to escape all these things are the same ones who are going to be amending their ways in these last days, okay, seeking the, the face of the Heavenly Father in spirit, in spirit and in truth and sincerity, okay, being loosened out of all these different uh, dumb philosophies, these demonic uh, philosophies that, that, that at once they have been led astray, okay, that's why the scripture says in Baruch, the fourth chapter, Okay, verse 28. Okay, now being returned, we gotta seek the Lord uh, 10 times more. Now, uh, this other book of Matthew, chapter 24. Uh, inside of verse 1 says, And, and Yahweh went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh said, And, and Yahweh said unto them, See ye uh, not all these things? Therein I say unto you, There shall not be, in, uh, there, sh it says, there shall not be left uh, here one stone upon another that uh, says uh, that shall not be over that that says uh, that shall not be uh, thrown down the same the, the same thing when you bring it to this uh, modern day okay all these different uh, establishments we see today all these different buildings that have been established today there shall be none of them left okay once the Abba Shah has came and conquered as it says in the, in the book of Revelation the sixth chapter okay a white horse okay came conquering and to conquer that's exactly what the Lord is coming back to do uh, all the fashion of this world is going to, all of it is going to pass away. Okay, all of this we see, all these different buildings we see today, they're all going to be done away. All these flats, okay, all, all these concrete uh, jungle that we see all over around us, all of it is going to be done away with very soon. Okay, it's going to all happen at, at, at the second returning of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Okay, he's the one that's going to finally, okay, uh, ex ex establish judgment at his return. Okay. The, the son of the Mosai, okay, Yahweh, he's the one who's going to finally execute judgment upon the saints of the Mosai, okay, those who are still bound up to this day, those who are still, uh, who are still captives, okay, amongst all these different nations, whereby we've been scattered among all these nations, okay, these are the same ones that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is, is coming back and to come and to redeem and to claim back as his own, okay? Yeah. But uh, contrary to popular belief, as most people have been have been uh, have been taught and have been uh, been deceived into believing, when, when the Messiah comes, uh, he's only coming to return to save and to redeem. Okay, the elect within the whole entire nation of Israel. He's not coming back to, to save the entire nation. So you nations, you don't even stand a chance. Okay, you don't even stand a chance of being of being redeemed. Because uh, salvation is far from the wicked, and you and you other nations, you heathens. Okay, <clears throat> let's get this one still in Matthew 24. I'm gonna jump around this is Matthew chapter 24 of verse uh, 31 says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall says, and they shall <clears throat> uh, gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven uh, to the other. So he's not even co coming back to save every single person that you see walking on the face of the earth, but he's only coming to save what the remnant. Of the nation of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's who he's coming back for to save. All right, it's not even coming for the entire world. As you might be led, still be led astray in these different haunted houses and these different churches, that the Messiah is coming back to redeem the entire nation, the entire world. That's not the case. Okay, that's not the case. All right? And a, and a lot of you are going to be shocked in that day when that day finally arises, when the Messiah returns. Okay, a lot of people are going to be shocked. Okay, because people have been led astray, have been, have been given this false identity of what the Messiah looked like, or what the saints looked like, what the Heavenly Father, Father Himself looked like. Okay, so all false philosophies and these, these uh, illusions, are, they're all going to be shattered in that day. It's going to be made manifest who had the truth all this time along. All right? There aren't many truths, but only one single truth. One, there's only one single true doctrine of the, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. 
Alright. And through the spring and power, your hot pot should not shot. Okay. Through the fruits. Okay. Alright. And the knowledge and the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, it is only evident to those who who, be, who, who who got the spirit of discernment to see that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with the man of great wisdom and those who teach like the same likewise same doctrine. Okay, this is our Matthew 24. And those who, that's why it says in Second Peter's, <coughs> all the fashion of this world is all of it, all of it's gonna pass away. Okay, so so we have we have no pride, no no no, no pleasure uh, in the flesh. Because right, we understand it very clearly that the fashion of this world, all of it, all of it is gonna all pass away. Okay, we, we, we're not looking uh, for treasures on earth. Okay, but well, we are looking for well, for eternal uh, treasures. Okay, through the works, that, as it says in Revelation, uh, their works to follow them. That's that, that's where we're laying up our treasures at. Okay, beginning with our, it all starts with what with faith, believing in the Most High. Okay, in Yahweh Pashim, Yahweh Shah. It's spirit and truth and sincerity, knowing his name, that the name of the Father is Yahweh Shah and his son's name is, is Yahweh Shah. It all starts there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get this in 2 Peter's. Ah, uh, this is 2 Peter's. Oh, this is this is it's like this first Peter chapter four. Okay. Oh. You know what? Let me let me just go here very quick. Let's start here. This is uh, Second Peter's uh, chapter three. Uh, verse 11 says, it's a scene. Uh, let me start at verse uh, 10. Uh, it's a second Peter chapter 3 and, and uh, verse 10. Uh, it says, uh, But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, <clears throat> in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with, with fervent heat, and the elf also, and the wax that are therein, shall be burned up. All these wax you see people busy, okay, piling themselves up these treasures. We see a con these carnal treasures. All of it is going to be done away with. Okay, accumulate wealth to themselves, eh? Carnally so. That's, you're not going to go anywhere with that. Okay, the main kind of wealth that you're supposed uh, to have your mind uh, set towards is what? Is what? Is the, is the wax? Okay, serving the Heavenly Father. Okay, and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Pashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that requires faith. And the quote scripture says that in the book of Ephesians, it, it is a gift of the Most High. That's what this faith is. Okay, it is a gift of the Most High. So you gotta, hey, you must be gifted and be granted of, of, of a certain portion of this faith in order for you to even stand a chance in the first place. And a lot of people don't even stand a chance at all. Okay, the second Peter chapter 3 and 10 says, But the day of the Lord uh, will come as a thief in the night. All right in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, all right? And the heavens passing away with a great noise is what? It's, it's gonna what? Let me keep reading, it says, uh, <clears throat> and the elements shall melt with, melt with fervent and heat, and the elf, says, and the elf also, and the wax that are therein shall be burned up. Uh, you're not gonna take anything with you in that day. Okay, when, when the Lord comes and requires of what you've done lately, at his second return, coming to reward, it says in Revelation the 22nd chapter, to reward every man according to his works. If you've been busy, been, been stocking up on, on, uh, on carnal uh, works, on carnal wealth, wealth hey, the Most High is going to reward you with death, because uh, you've, you've not, you, 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 you would think uh, into storing up your treasures according to the commandments of Yahweh Baal Shem uh, But by this, what, what we do not see us doing out there on highways and byways during the week, and to those who are not even out there on highways and hedges, because we know not all of the elect of the saints, okay, are, are gonna are gonna be you all be prophets and servants of Yahweh Shemasha on the highways and bowies. But those who are gonna truly amend their ways, man, who are gonna change their, li their lives and believe in the Most High. These are the same ones who will not be be, disappo be, be, uh, be disappointed at the return of Yahweh Shah Hamashia. Okay. Right. It says, uh, what says when the, and the elements are melt, melt with fervent heat, and the F and the works that, that are there really shall be burned up. Meaning what? Uh, these misses are gonna hit. Okay, they are gonna hit because when you go back to the second, to the to the, to the seventh uh, verse, to to, to to verse seven, it speaks about what this current world that we see today is all stored up for what? for fire. Okay, 
So the, the, the first death that came was well, during the days of Noah, but the second one is going to come by what? Well, by fire. Okay, these are the ones who are going to be able to, the only ones who want to be able to be found worthy to escape all these things are what? Well, it's going to be the remnant, okay? Those who want to seed salvation, the remnant of the, of the nation of Israel. Okay, let's get this in Romans. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter, start here, Romans 11, Romans 10, it's like here. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11, uh, verse 7 says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election of obtaining it, and, and the rest were blinded. All right? According as it says, uh, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the, the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. Unto this day, unto this very day, they still blinded to the fact that the day of the Lord is is, is, uh, is what it is. is it is uh, near. They are unable to discern the times that we live in. It. Okay, they are incapable of discerning the times we live in. It. Okay, the, the times of what of great destruction and calamity. But, all of the, all of these days are what are very near to come. They're not they're not even aware of that. Okay, that's it says that's why it says here in Thessalonians, let's get this is Thessalonians. Alright, this is the first Thessalonians chapter five. Instead of verse one says, But of the, but of the times and of the season, brethren, right? Ye have no need that I, that I write unto you, because because the most high okay, you have a shot. Okay, well Lord and Savior, okay, by the sacrifices that he did. Okay, he was he's he's the one that was able who was found were able to open the seals thereof. Okay, the truth and the true full scope understanding of okay of what's to come. The full doctrine, okay, so that it could be handed down, okay, before the great dreadful day of the Lord comes, uh, of his second return. So that there will be no excuse. Okay, because he came, you have shot there's no cloak. Uh, there's absolutely no 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 excuse why you're not getting this truth. Except for that you've been blinded by your Abash and Masha so, so that what? So you could be justified when you start killing your ass. Alright? Because he's coming for, for, for judgment, pure, utter chaos. Okay, is, is about to erupt very soon. Such as never been seen before. That's how this, this place is gonna go down. Okay, with fervent heat, yeah, with earthquakes and we see man, a whole lot of earthquakes are happening, man. Okay, every single day. Such as never been seen before on on a large large scale, okay. We see diverse earthquakes, okay. Um, we we seeing earthquakes in diverse places, all over the fucking place. We seeing earthquake, earthquakes, drought. All right, the weather is all is, is all out of order. These are the beginning of all. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, the love of many works in cold. All these are the, be the beginning of sorrows. We have not seen, okay, okay, the full might of the wrath of Yahweh as of yet. And the world we are about to witness that are very soon. Okay, all this folly has been setting great dignity. People, okay, we, this this whole facade, this whole illusion of people thinking that we at peace. Man, your dreams are going to be shattered in that very soon. Okay, you're going to be shocked. Yeah, you're going to be shocked, man. People are going to be falling and having a heart attacks because of the sight they see. Okay, they will not be able to, to process it. The only way they're going to be able to process it. They will not, Hey, when they see all these calamities happening, their heart is going to faint. The hearts of many will faint in that day. All right? And we're going to get that in the book of Amos uh, chapter 5. It's the first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 says, But of the times and the season, brethren, okay, those whose eyes have been, been anointed, those who've been, been, who are able to see and measure the times diligently, the season that we live in, okay, so let me just get this and uh, <coughs> And that's like in Ecclesiastes 39. Alright. Uh, this is a book of Ecclesiastes. Alright, uh, this is Ecclesiastes, Sarah, chapter 39, verse 1 says, But he that giveth his mind to the law, of the Most High, and is occupied, <coughs> in, is, you know, is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom uh, of all the ancient, and be occupied in prophecy. And we see prophecies what? Okay, fulfilling itself right now. Okay, all we see these these are these nations. Uh, Russia just tested uh, uh, the missiles. Uh, these are all the beginning of sorrows. Okay, we measuring the time diligently. Okay, 
war has been prepared a long time ago, man. Okay, and very soon, okay, the Lord's vengeance is about to be executed very soon. Okay, his fury and his anger upon the nations, he he's about to execute all of that. Okay, by what about World War Three? Okay, the third world, which is coming very quickly, and we are we are in that season of the third world coming quickly. Okay, all of it is going to happen within our lifetime, as most people will, will love uh, to make you believe. Okay, that that uh, it's all peace and peace. There's no peace and there's no safety in the society. Okay, there is no peace, no safety in the society. Okay, and a lot and a lot of you are going to realize very soon, but it's going to be too late for a whole lot of you to realize. You know what? I should have served the Lord, but it's going to be too late in that day. Because when, when the Lord sent, sent forth his, his messengers, his servants, the prophets out there in the houses and hedges, they were mocked, okay, they, they were looked as, as fools. Because right? it's all about, it's all the setup of Yahweh Hashim Hashai anyway. Okay, through, through the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Okay? Because the, the foolishness of Yahweh Hashim Hashai is way, okay, it is way wiser, okay, than men's. Alright? That's why men hate. For Yah for Yahushai's sakes, are we even fools? Right. And, and and spiritual okay, uh, and those who are spiritual who have, who been looked at as being foolish in the society are gonna receive that that that, that, that reward at the at, at the second return of Yahushai. Only then shall, shall, shall these men be magnified. Alright. But right now, hey, hey, we better off taking the taking the loot, the loss, the losses right now. Okay, because these losses that we have today. Hey, they're going to be turning into a huge victory, man. The biggest uh, victory ever handed down. Okay, by Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. Uh, this is the second first Thessalonians of five and one says, but of the times and of the season. So like you. Uh, it says, uh, but says about uh, of the times and of the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Alright, for for you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Alright, uh, as a thief in the night, nobody's expecting the return of the Lord. That's why people have this mentality of building up. Okay, investments. Yeah, planning for 10, 15 years from now. I mean, we don't have much time left. Okay, that's the kind of a, man, a mindset, a very serious mindset you're supposed to have. That the Lord will return at any moment from now on, as you and you're gonna have that mindset if you only if you're looking up for all these things, uh, these different famines, these different droughts that are happening. Okay, they're, they're increasing right now. Okay, all these race attentions that we have around us, they're only gonna escalate. Uh, all kind of abominations that are happening right now. Okay, all these transgenders, look, man, everything right now, man, it has been turned upside upside down. Okay, and very soon the Lord is coming back, Yahweh is coming back to reward all, the, all these wicked people and their wickedness and their foolish ways. They're all going to be recompensed. Okay, they're all going to be paid back for, 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 the, for their wicked ways. They're all going to be rewarded at the second return of Yahweh HaMashiach. Okay. Well, it says, uh, it says uh, for when they say peace, it says, when, for, it says, uh, for when they shall say uh, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as a travail upon a woman uh, with child, and they shall not escape. No one is going to escape. Uh, the ones who are going to be found worthy to escape are the ones who would have been, uh, been diligent all this time along, who have been watching for the return of the Messiah, okay, looking up for all these things, these different measures, measuring tools that the, Yahweh, that the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah spoke of, okay. Nations rising up, up against nation. That's ultimately going to happen when when we see World War Three happening. Okay, when we see, as we've seen, all these nations, all these missiles that are doing. Okay, prepping themselves up for for Armageddon. Okay, for uh, the army of troops. Okay, the the mountain of troops. We see that destruction is coming. Okay, and it's going to happen very very soon. Okay, despite what people, despite what you've been taught over the past. Okay, and a lot of you still, but you still under this, uh, this delusion that, that everything is all peace and peace. There's no peace, man. Why the hell are these 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 are these, these are nations are, are busy gearing up? Okay, gearing up for war. Okay, recruiting more and more and more more police force and, and army personnel every single year. That has been the energy that has been put up by Yahweh Hashim Hashem. Okay, to gear all these nations up for war. Okay, that's how the Mosai he's gonna plead 
okay, and justify himself, okay, and what in, in executing judgment upon all these nations, okay, by bringing them to their own demise, to their own destruction, okay, and all their armies thereof. Let's get Revelation 4 uh, 11. You know what? Let's get, let's get at Jeremiah 28 very quick. This is Jeremiah 28. Uh, it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28. Uh, it's a Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse uh, and 8. It says, The prophet that have, been, uh, that have been before me and of old prophets are both against many countries and against kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Uh, the same thing we're doing right now, man. Okay, we're telling you this pestilence is in Okay, all kind of chaos is coming. Okay, war is coming. We prophesy against all these nations we see being established today okay mainly the edomite society okay esau's uh ruling system we are prophesying mainly against it okay and all of those who are following after esau's uh, demonic uh, system okay this this current system that has been established right now so okay we are against it as the scripture says the prophets of all the being they all prophesied against all these nations whatever society was established back then that's the reason why the prophets were set up in the first place Okay, and this is this is the, the final and the last uh, go around of prophets being sent out. Okay, the final assembly. Okay, of the seven of the prophets of Yahweh Shemayosha out there on the houses and hedges. Okay, within this generation. Okay, because all things are gonna they're all gonna be what they're all gonna be fulfilled within this generation. The execute the executement of judgment. Okay, it's gonna be realized and it's gonna be it's gonna be materialized very soon. Okay, to the shock and to the demise of, of most we, of, uh, of most people. Okay, because you, a lot of you know you know you don't even believe in the Lord. Man. Okay, you you bunch of pretenders, a bunch of a bunch of hypocrites. Okay, and that's why the Most High hates a liar and a hypocrite. A bunch of a bunch of actors, man. We're gonna see how if you're gonna keep up uh, that act when when all hell break loose, man. Okay, it's gonna be known who the chosen were in the first place. As the scripture says in Second Edwards, uh, the 15th chapter, it's going to be known who the ones who truly had faith when all destruction comes. Okay, what name are you going to be calling upon when that day comes? Okay, it's going to be, hey, all, all the scores are going to be settled in that day. Okay, all the scoffers, all your mouths are going to be stuck. Okay, it's in Jeremiah chapter 28, and it says, The prophets that have been before me, Jeremiah 28 and 8, says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence all right because that's what we bring in our here we're not bringing you good news man hugs and kisses all right telling you look look man the love the lord loves you while you mean meanwhile you're still breaking his royal cessation commandments deliberately purpose uh, pers uh with purpose doing all kinds of wickedness man trying to justify yourselves okay we're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna give you a uh, smooth voice man okay we're not gonna prophesy to see uh amos the third chapter who can by prophesy the, the lion of rod okay hey if we even if it means us coming becoming your enemies because of the truth hey fuck you so be it okay so be it man this place is already condemned all right because of its evil works that they're in Okay, and still people, a lot of you, you're still exercising yourselves in wickedness. Okay, you're still exercising yourselves in wickedness. That's why the Lord is going to be justified when you fucking destroy this society. Okay, the new uh, righteous, okay, uh, everlasting kingdom is going to be finally be established very soon. Okay, and an everlasting kingdom, the kingdom that's going to be given unto the saints of the Most High. Okay, which are the saints are the Israelites. These are the ones who want to receive that, that salvation and be redeemed from, from among men. Uh, it says, uh, The prophets which prophesy of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord Jehovah have truly sent him. Because uh, all these guys will be busy telling you you're going to prosper. A uh, couple of years, years from now on, you're going to have yourself a mentions. Oh, okay, you're gonna you gonna prosper. There's no fucking prosperity in this place, man. The currency is gonna fucking crash down. All the currencies of this world, man, they're all gonna fucking crash down, man. The money system, okay, the economy, okay. Hey, man, it is all a facade, man. Okay, it's all gonna be brought down, man. 
East was going to try to implement the new world system, okay, of which he's not going to be able to pull it off, man. Okay, the Most High, he always disappoints. He disappoints the crafty counsel of the wicked, man. Okay, East was still in the straits right now. Okay, he's just still in, in the space of difficulty right now. Okay, if, 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 if it was up to Esau and his, his fucking carnal demonic ass mind, okay, we would be living in the, in the new world order right now. But it's not going to be the case, man. Okay, it is, it's the, it is the good pleasure of the Hapa Shemosha for the saint to receive the king. Now, let's get that in Matthew. It's like in John, St. John. Let's get this one in St. John. Uh, because the Most High has a single purpose for the saints of the Most High to receive the, the kingdom. Okay. It's a myth as uh, St. John. Oh, this is St. John chapter 17. Uh, instead of verse 14, it says, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. St. John chapter 14 and 1 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were, were not so, I would have, not, uh, I would have told you. Because well, the Abba is not a liar, man. Okay? Because the Abba Shai is not a liar. Yeah, he came in the stead of, his only, uh, of, of the Heavenly Father. Okay, who does not change? Okay, Malachi 3 and 6. I am the Lord, therefore I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, are ye not consumed? That's why Yahweh Shai said, Look, man, him and his father are one. The single man that he came to do the will of the father that sent, that sent him back then. So the father is going to send Yahweh Shai back once again to come and to, to save. Okay, the elect of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which are so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, so Yahweh never changed the goddamn thing. Okay, he only came for what, so that for, for, for the sins, okay, of, of the remnant will be covered at his second return, so that the whole entire nation could be saved eventually. Okay, for all Israel, so that could be finally be saved at the end of the day, through the remnant whose sins, okay, have been covered, whose transgressions, Okay, have been what have been covered. The same one when you read about in Revelation when it speaks about these these are they uh, well, well these these are what these are the virgins, okay, who've been found innocent and pure, okay, because because what they've been they've been uh, let's get this let's get this man let's get Psalms 32 I'm gonna go to to, to Revelation. There's a book of Psalms 32. Ah, uh, this is Psalms. Chapter 32. Alright. Alright, All right, verse 1 says, uh, Blessed is whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Alright, it says, Blessed is, 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 uh, is the man whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no God. Alright, let's get that in Revelation 21. Alright, this is the book of Revelation. Very quick. Revelation. These are they which were what we are not defiled with women. All right. This is Revelation chapter fourteen. Uh, verse four says, "These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever He goeth. These uh, are, are redeemed. Were redeemed from among men." Being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Uh, there's no mean that they're going to be guys who are going to only just be virgins who are going to be saved. Look, man, if, if this was true, what I was talking about uh, actual uh, virgins, okay, a person who had never had sex in the fucking first place, that would mean that none of us will, will, will be here, man, okay? So that would mean that we don't stand a chance, man. You know, when we live in a society that is so fucking perverse, everything. Has, has, has sexual implications into it, man. Everything, the fashion, the people who are in right now, okay? This, this is a sinful and a lustful society, man. So uh, how could it, this be, okay? That's not the case right now, okay? Speaking about those who, not be, who have not been defiled with these different philosophies. All right, let's get that in Proverbs. That's why scripture say, says that in the book of Proverbs. Those who go uh, into a way, none of them return. Because right. you're going you're gonna to have yourself what, all defiled. All right. There's a Proverbs. Let's get this in Proverbs real quick. Thank you. 
No, this is a pro with chapter 6. This is a pro with chapter 6 and 24. It says, it says to keep it says to keep thee from evil women from, from, from the evil woman, from from uh, from uh, fluttering of the of the tongue of a strange woman. It says last not after her beauty of her beauty in the heart, neither let her take any with her eyelids. It says for the uh, that, yeah, that's the point. So now what I'm looking for the piece up here. Let's get this one here very quick. All right. Okay, here it is. Proverbs chapter seven, verse uh, twenty-four. Says, "Let not thine heart de uh, decline, uh, decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths." Well, because we were, we, we went horroring to these different philosophies of these different nations. Okay, we went astray as a as, as a bride of Yahweh Hashem as a nation of, of the nation of Israel. We all went astray. Okay, we got defiled with these different nations, uh, our philosophies, wayward doctrines. Okay, we got defiled ourselves. But there's going to be because there's going to be a remnant, a remnant of the nation of Israel. Okay, they're chosen. We're not going to follow after these uh, these different uh, weird <coughs> philosophies of these nations. Okay, these other women. Okay, because we are joined unto the Most High. That's why Scripture says in the Book of Malachi, the Lord hated what putting away. Okay, we were we were once put away by the Lord. All right, we were we were once put away by the Lord. Oh, in fact, let's get this one in a, in a let's get this in the book of Jeremiah <clears throat> so like you just just bear with me <clears throat> it's the book of Jeremiah Let's get this in Jeremiah very quick. Let's get this very Jeremiah. Here it is. Jeremiah 2. <coughs> this is Jeremiah chapter 2. Well, verse 20 says, For of, of all time have I broken thy yoke, and best thy bonds, and that is, uh, says, uh, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. When says I uh, went upon every high hill and under every green tree, thou wanderers praying a harlot. Okay, because we are the same thing we see happening right now. Okay, uh, under all these different philosophies, these different banners of these different religious systems, so called religious systems, we still have Israelites who are still going after these ways of these nations, uh, who are still going a whoring after these, these nations' philosophies. Because well, we are married and we join unto the Most High. We are his, his, uh, his wife, the wife of, of, of the Heavenly Father. Okay, as a nation of the nation of Israel, we belong unto Him. Right? So we know to be what to be sanctified, St. John 17 and 17, to be sanctified by the word. That means you're going to be cleansed, okay, by the word. Okay, we're going to be we're going through the, the process of our, of our purification. Okay, the inward men are the outward men are perishing. Okay, forsaking the kind of thoughts, okay, being spiritually minded as we've been ordained to be. Okay, that's how you're going to get yourself purified in these last days. That's the only way for you to amend your ways. Psalms 119, where the will a young man are cleanse his way uh, by taking him unto, uh, to that word. Okay, that's what's going to cleanse us in these last days. Or oh, so that we could be presented, okay, as a chaste version unto Yahweh Shah. Yeah, showing you that that's what the scripture says, man. Uh, so we could be we could, we could be presented as a chaste version, version, versions, at Yahweh Shah. Okay, so these ones in Revelation 14 were not defiled with women, for, for they are virgins. These are the, these are the saints of the Most High, the chosen of the nation of Israel. Okay, we have washed our robes. Okay, and Lord willing, will be of that number, man. That we continue on this fight. Okay, so that Jeremiah chapter two. 
Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse uh, 20 says, For of all time have I broken thy yoke and best and, and, and best thy, thy bands. Because all these different nations we were under, we were led captive under these nations. Uh, but every single time, whenever we cried unto the Lord, the Most High was faithful, okay, and He delivered us uh, of all time. Okay, just like right now, we're crying unto the Lord, man. Okay, so that we could be remembered of Him. In fact, I'm going to get that one in the book. Okay, we are crying unto Yah Pashim Yah because while He is faithful, okay, that's why we, we, you must call upon His name. Okay, you know, you're not supposed to be, if you're still going to be calling upon Jesus, that's not the name of, of the Son. Okay, His name is Yah Pashim Yah If you still call upon the name of God, that's not the name. Okay, the name of the Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yah Pashim. Okay. That's the only, that's the, those are the only names whereby we must be saved, okay, ye men of Israel. That's the only way to receive salvation, by knowing the name of the Father and the Son and believing in those names. Uh, and following, okay, the sound doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, not many doctrines, okay, not many spirits, but only one spirit, okay. What was that, Jeremiah 2? Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 2. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 2. Verse 20 Of all time have I broken thy yoke and, and burst thy band, and, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. When upon every high, uh, high hill and under every green tree thou uh, wanderest, playing the harlot, referring to, to the Israelites, going astray to these different philosophies of these nations. Uh, that's why we still find ourselves in, in, this, in this state we're in. Okay, Hosea 8 and 8. Israel is now swallowed up among the Gentiles. Okay, as a person when there's no honor. Okay, we are still be being left captive to these nations. Okay, but right now the bonds, okay, they've been what, being lifted spiritually. Okay, they've been, they've been what, been taken down right now. Okay, let's get this in Isaiah. Ah, uh, this is Isaiah. Because it speaks about the opening of the of the prison of the prisoners. Man. Uh, in fact, let me get that one in Matthew when Yahweh spoke of it. Okay, let's get Matthew. Okay, because we're coming in the stead of Yahweh as, as ambassadors of Yahweh. Okay, this is uh, Matthew. In fact, let's get that in Luke. Oh, this is uh, Luke chapter 4. Oh, I've just, uh, I've just, uh, what's that here? Verse 18 says, the Spirit of, of the Lord is upon me. Okay. It says, the, the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me because he has uh, anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and have sent me uh, to heal uh, the brokenhearted, to preach, the, uh, to preach deliverance to the captives. Okay, who are the captives? The Israelites. Okay, we still had captives to these nations unto this day. Okay, we, we, we are not yet uh, set, set free. Okay, but, it, but the freedom, the true our freedom starts what? Spiritually. That's how, we, that's how we're going to receive salvation. Uh, it, all starts what we, it all starts in the mind. Okay, Romans 13. Uh, this is Romans chapter 13, uh, verse, verse 11 says, And now knowing the time, it is high time to awake out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than we believe. Okay. Since the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast away the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be doing right now. Okay, and it's only going to happen through what? Through what? Through, through the preaching, okay, of salvation to the Lordship of the house of Israel. Through the true gospel being preached. That's the only way this thing is going to happen. Right? It says, uh, the Spirit of the Lord, of, of the Lord Yahweh is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel, the good news to the poor. Okay, that's why it says in Jeremiah, so surely these are poor. Okay, you lack understanding, you don't know who have appointed the Lord. Be, being, being, a, being, a, being, <clears throat> being chastised, okay, continuously. The wounds be not being bound up. And still transgressing. Still not learning to come and... Still not learning the main lesson as well. Do not disobey Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shah. Okay. That's why we find ourselves among all these nations scattered among them, okay? But only a remnant will be saved. Well, of course, the remnant is the, is the, only, one, the only ones who are going to uh, see and remember their ways 
and, and acknowledge their transgressions. As it says in Psalms, okay, I ever keep my 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 uh, my, 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 my offenses, my transgressions are ever, are ever before me, okay? So that because he ever, he, he ever, up, so that because he ever anointed me to preach uh, the gospel to the poor, he have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach uh, the acceptable day of, of the Lord, okay? And that's how he's going to get men. Okay, the acceptable day of the Lord is going to when the Messiah comes and returns uh, and to destroy mix, okay, and to destroy those who are going to be left of the two thirds by that day, okay, <clears throat> and to redeem his elect and condemnation to the nations, man, and to make war with these nations and bring down all these nations and, and their strongholds. All their system is all going to work. It's going to all going to come down. It is going to be crushed down, man. Okay, it will not stand. That's why it says he came, Revelation, let's get there in Revelation 19. It's a revelation. It's a revelation, chapter 19, verse 11 says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. In righteousness does he judge and make war. This is Yahab Shai, but he's coming back to do on a white horse. Yeah, on a huge, pure, huge, insanely huge, ginormous, okay, chariot, so-called UFO. All right, it's gonna be pure, concentrated energy, pure power. Yeah, pure energy, a hundred percent unadulterated, pure, magnificent, heavenly energy, power. Yeah, because you nation, you don't stand a chance. Okay, you. You do not stand a chance at the second return of the Lord and Savior. Okay, he's coming back to conquer all you nations. All the kingdoms of the earth, they're all going to be thrown down. A new kingdom, a singular, okay, a single kingdom is going to be established. A kingdom of righteousness. All the Israelites are going to be in rulership forever. The saints of the Most High, they shall take the kingdom. Okay, how are the saints of the Most High going to take the kingdom? Because they're not going to take the kingdom carnally. Okay, the saints of the Most High, they're not going to take the kingdom carnally, physically, okay? Okay, in these physical bodies. But through, through elevation, okay, as it says, these are the ones they receive crown upon their heads. Okay, they receive dominion. Okay, that's how the saints of the Most High are going to receive the kingdom, man. Because right now, hey, the weapons of warfare are not carnal. They were never carnal in the first place, man. Okay, we, okay, we, we are the greater extension of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. A greater being, okay. We are his extension, okay. That's why we must trust in the Lord with all our heart. Man. We're not we're not here to lean upon our own understanding, okay. It says, uh, <clears throat> it says, uh, <clears throat> and I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And he, it says, in righteousness does he judge, judge and make war. He's going to be making war with these nations.